We'll have more from the debate later tonight. Meanwhile, the audience at tonight's debate was there by invitation only through OSU Cascades, the City Club, and the candidates' campaigns. Kelsey McGee spoke with some of them and is here with reactions to what the candidates said. Kelsey? Lee, at the front entrance of the building, sides had already been taken. People were holding signs and American flags and chanting candidates' names. Betsy Johnson, Tina Kotek, and Christine Drazen took the stage for another gubernatorial debate on Tuesday. The room was packed with about 80 people in Tyson Hall at OSU Cascades in Bend. The audience was made up of students and staff from the campus, the City Club of Central Oregon, and representatives from each campaign. OSU's new president, Jahathi Murthy, also made an appearance. Murthy became the new president on September 9th and made the drive from Corvallis to watch the debate. They were all invited to listen to the three candidates on hot-button issues like COVID, homelessness, gun violence, and abortion. Oregonians wanted to learn and know certain stances from the candidates. While the candidates had their differences on certain subjects, they found a common ground in their discussion on higher education. I spoke to some audience members after the debate and got their reactions. I, mean, I think they conducted themselves really well and um, it's nice to see a civil conversation between our candidates. I think uh, the political landscape has gotten um, very loud to say the least and I think at times disrespectful. I think that all candidates definitely displayed passion and enthusiasm. Dahl also said he thought the candidates did a good job of being able to compare and contrast the issues they support. It's good to see candidates, you know, shake each other's hands before and after the debates. The audience also was civil and respectful to the candidates. If you missed it, you can watch the entire debate on our website, ktvc.com or the News Channel 21 app.